Hey guys, welcome back to Games Mods and Happy New Year's Eve. Uh, this will be my last video for 2022. Um, this is, as you saw by the thumbnail, this is the best blasters of 2022 in my opinion. Now, this was actually a much harder video to do than the worst blasters because um, there are so many good ones and um, placing them and everything. But I think I got it down. Um, I do have three honorable mentions first before we get into uh, number 10. Um, but all I'm going to say is this was a really good year for Dart Zone. <laughs> um, but the first honorable mention I want to do is the Dart Zone Vulcanator. Um, this is a very cool uh, full auto blaster. You just hold down the rev and hold down the trigger. You get two 12 rounds, and uh, apparently in the hobby we found out how to um, solidify these uh, things, uh, these adapters into the blaster because they kept falling out if you put drums in them. But I put two 25 round drums, seems fine. Comes with a removable stock with the end strike uh, lug there. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty sick uh, flywheel. So yeah, that's one honorable mention. And then the other two are pretty much in the same boat. They are the S200S Viper and the uh, Fire Rat. Um, both are top prime and take eternal mags. And both fire about the same FPS, I believe. Um, all the enough, these mags are not compatible with each other. Uh, so that's one bad thing that I hate. Um, but this one I actually modded. So uh, it hits a little harder now, which is nice. Um, but yeah, both of these are great on mentions. They're both great side pieces. Um, but like I said before, if you're going to get a fire rat, don't get a black one. You can't take it outside. Get it orange or clear or something. Um, or blue or whatever they have else. Um, but both of these are really cool. These are both on my wall. And uh, yeah, they're both honorable mentions. But let's get into number 10. So in the number 10 spot, I have the Adventure Force Juice Pro here. Mine is modified, of course, because I got this pretty cool SCAR kit um, that shoots just single if you want to use the barrel. Or if you don't want to use the, um, the removable barrel here, um, you can plug this in and shoot triples out of the front as a buckshot. Um, but this blaster came with a holster. It had an elongated front that you can put on. Uh, three of the um, six shot short dart barrels. Uh, this little kind of focus thing. And uh, yeah, it's pretty sick. She's very powerful. Uh, I think this was released for $40. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's a good powerhouse to have. Um, it's basically like a long arm or how a long arm should be. I do like the shortness without the long barrel because it takes out the barrel drag. Um, me personally, I don't know if I would use this because this is just more barrel. There's nothing nothing in there. But I would either use it like this or like that. And that's why that's number 10. I think it's great. On to number 9. In the number nine spot, we have the Dart Zone Pro MK 1.2. Uh, this blaster came out as a new primary for Dart Zone this year. It was a remake on their Mark 1.1 uh, and Mark 1 um, with a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, they give you two sights with uh, very cool uh, red and green uh, um, sights right here. They give you some Picatinny rail on the side, built in. And it breaks down with this little pin. You can just take that out, take these two pins out, and it comes apart. You have a rubberized grip here, a rubberized grip here. You can shoot um, uh, full length mags and short dart mags out of this, um, but you know we're all shooting short darts here, so that's why I got the 18 round uh, uh, worker curved mag in there. Um, it does come with a stock that is uh, not only retractable to a couple lengths, um, but you can actually pull it out and then on the back you push the button and it folds in, which is pretty neat. It's a little weak, but this is actually very comfortable 
And if you say you don't want to use this, you can actually pop this off and you have an inch strike barrel lug, which uh, you could potentially attach an adapter for um, just a regular uh, regular stock attachment on it. So yeah, that's the uh, Mark uh, 1.2 in the 9 spot slot. Uh, on to number 8. In the number 8 spot we have the Dart Zone Max Dictator here. It's a very cool uh, shotgun S blaster uh, with 24 round capacity and that is because in the back here you have your magazine that actually comes out the back so it's very different. It kind of has, uh, kind of reminds me of the Conquest uh, from Adventure Force. So let's say you're done with the uh, 12 in this line, you just flip it over and you go and you just put it back in and you're ready to go with the next 12. So it's pretty cool. Um, I haven't modded this one yet, but I plan to. Um, but it's a very smooth prime. Um, one of the, probably the smoothest primes I've ever had in any kind of blaster. Um, yeah, it's very cool. The sights are okay, they're just plastic, nothing fancy there. Um, but yeah, very cool pickup. And I think I'm actually giving one of these away. Yeah, for my contest. So yeah, that's number uh, eight on the number seven. And in the number seven spot, we have the Dark Zone uh, Max Tomcat here. Now when this was first received, we it came with a uh, 50 round drum that was a short dart drum. So that was new for us. We've never seen that and it was pretty cool. Um, there was one problem with it. It got in the way when you primed and it was bulky, which, you know, is a downfall. But there has been uh, a few kits uh, for it. As I got this one from Franz Foamworks, we have a very cool stock attachment point here. Um, I put on my own grip from Worker, uh, a new spot, uh, a new uh, grip plate here, so it's a smoother prime. Picatinny rail on the side, 3D printed. Um, a little tiny side on top, and a scar barrel on the front. And it works like a charm. It's very powerful, and uh, yeah, I dig it. Um, and you, if you don't want to use a, a Talon magazine like this, you can switch out for the drum if you like. It's very easy to switch out. Um, you just prime it, pull it out, slam in the drum, and you're ready to go. So it's all up to you on how you want to uh, use this. Um, but very powerful. I think it uh, fires 150 out of the box. Um, if you don't have one, go get you one. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, this was pretty cool. So that's why it's in the... Uh, in the number seven spot. On to number six. All right, in the number six spot, we have the Nerf Moto Blitz here. Um, shockingly, uh, Nerf made it into the uh, roster this year for Best Blasters. And this was probably the best blaster that Nerf actually put out this year, aside from one other. Uh, but this is basically a Raven uh, with a um, uh, air pumped, um, Shotgun-esque, uh, six-round uh, dark capacity uh, shotgun blast underneath, which we've all done before with other blasters, you know. Um, and that you can mod this, um, even though it is a Nerf 2.0 Elite uh, line. And it's probably the best one in that line, and it's probably one of the uh, best blasts that Nerf put out this year. Um, you have some railing here, here. You have a built-in scope, which a lot of people didn't like. I saw people either just attaching another scope up here or sawing this whole thing off and just putting a whole one on themselves. Um, you have a jam door over here, more railing over here. But uh, this was $35 when it came out, and it was, uh, it was surprising for most of us. But yeah, that's why uh, the Nerf uh, Elite 2.0 Motor Blitz is uh, number six here. On to number five. So number five is the Nerf Rival Fate XX11-100. I forgot that this came out this year. I thought it came out in 2021, but no, it came out in January of 2022. And this is one of my favorite blasters of this year because I think I've modified three of them and I have now a brand new one in box just for the Rival-esque part of it. Um, 
One of the ones that I made is probably one of my most powerful blasters right now. And that's this guy. Um, if you haven't seen the video on this, go watch it. It is nuts. Um, but it takes the magazine, uh, a short dart magazine now, and it fires super hard. Um, the other two, I don't know where they are, but basically I made, I took out the um, front part here and made them shoot Mega, made one shoot Mega, and I think I made the other one shoot, uh, no, Mega XL, and the other one shot, um, I think it was an inline clip. I'm not positive, but I, I, I believe so. Um, and I also found out that if you take one of these, just like this one, and you put a, um, a uh, Mega to Elite uh, tube in there, you can actually shoot short darts out of it just like that if you want. Um, or Mega if you want. So very cool. So that's why uh, the Nerf Rival Fate here is number five, because I think I, I modified this one the most this year. So yeah, that's number five on number four. So in the number four spot, I have the slab. Now, I know a lot of people put this in their first place, which I could have. Um, if it wasn't for the elastic bands, I think that's just me though. I'm new to elastic band uh, stuff in blasters. So for me, it was a little bit difficult to build personally. Um, again, this is my list. Um, I respect those that put them on the top because I do love this blaster regardless. Um, fire super hard. It looks amazing, especially in these colors. Um, and uh, Luke from my dart shipped out pretty fast. Um, but yeah, it's a lever action, um, short dart uh, blaster, and uh, it's really spiffy. Um, if you haven't had one of these yet, I suggest buying it either from um, Silver, uh, Silver Fox Industries, uh, out of darts, of course. Um, or whoever else sells them because this thing is really fun either have it uh, either it's a fun kit to put together um, if you're uh, a veteran at putting blasters together or you can have them put it together for you but it's still fun um, but yeah the slab is number four on my list number three on my list is a nightingale of course I love this blaster um, sorry I crapped up this one but I did get two more for Christmas for myself and they work uh, very well I want to do wield them so bad um, I want to get a magnetic holster kit for these hopefully it can go into the side here on both of them um, I think that'd be really slick but it's a um, semi-auto flywheel runs on a 2s no 3s uh, XT30 connector uh, lipo battery in there um, it has a power switch on the back, of course. Um, it does take proprietary mags, these little slim, new slim ones. Um, I know a lot of people were skeptical about getting these because it is a new magazine type. Um, but it's, they're, they're really cool. Um, yeah, if you don't have one of these by now, what are you doing? Um, pick them up, definitely. Um, but yeah, they're number three on my list. On to number two. The number two spot on my list belongs to the OFD Quick, because it is insane. Uh, before I got this blaster, I thought the uh, Lepus was the fastest blaster. I think it has a run for its money now with this guy. This guy runs on a 3S LiPo in the front here. Um, and the mechanism that turns out the uh, darts is uh, revolutionary. And I know that they're making different models of the Quick. Mine came in like a Magnum form from Valtech. Um, they have like a Han Solo blaster, which I really want to get uh, next. It takes uh, regular diagonal um, worker mod uh, magazines, just like the uh, Phoenix and the Phoenix 2.0. And uh, it's, it's, it's crazy fast. Um, and it's full auto. I love full auto. I don't know why. Um, but I love just dumping mags out with this thing. But that's why this thing is number two. On to number one. The number one place belongs to the Dart Zone Pro MK 2.1. This blaster is available to everybody now. Uh, approximately $84 to $90 from $100. Uh, 
So it came down a little bit, which is very nice. It's on the Target website, Amazon. Um, I don't know where else, but those two mainly. Uh, but when you're shipped this blaster, it comes with this little scar barrel, which is very nice. Um, it comes with three in-grip magazines, like so. And I believe these hold six rounds, seven rounds, something like that. But they fit in there like real flush. Like, I, you can't get anything better than that. Uh, you do have a safety up here, which I don't use. Um, but it is a top prime. And it's, it, it hits hella hard for what it is. Uh, you have a bottom rail down here if you want. Um, so when you get the kit, when you get the box, it includes three of the magazines, the blaster itself, the scar, um, a holster for the blaster. Um, and on the holster, it has a little spot for the scar barrel if you want to detach it. And it comes with a pair of goggles and uh, short darts for all three of the uh, magazines that it comes with. So for the value, for the performance, that's why the Dart Zone Pro MK2.1 is taking home number one for me uh, this year. Um, I'm excited to see what Dart Zone brings out next year because this year was really good for them. I don't know how they're going to top it, but uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's my lineup for 2022, guys. Uh, let me know if you agree. Uh, let me know what your favorite blaster of the year was. Um, have a safe and happy New Year's. Don't, uh, don't, I'm not going to be your parent and tell you don't drink and drive because you should know better, but uh, be safe and uh, wear eye protection. But until next year, um, I am Guns Mods and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Please like, follow, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And I'll see you later. Bye.
Thank you.